Cobb County police officer who shot and killed a teenager will not face charges. The teenager's family and their attorneys are calling on state lawmakers to watch the case closely. This is video of the moments before the officer's gunfire, his body camera video, and we're freezing the video here just before that officer fired two shots into the teenager's back. Channel 2's Cobb County Bureau Chief Chris Jose live in Marietta. And Chris, the only reporter to talk with the family, and they told you, Chris, they want a transparent process here. And Javita, the Truett family and their attorneys had big concerns about the way the district attorney presented this case to a grand jury here at the Cobb County Courthouse. We know the DA's office presented evidence, but no charges. In the last 15 minutes, Attorney Gerald Griggs told me this is a sham. I'm just so sorry if somebody hurt him like that. And me as a mother, I wasn't there to protect him. In an exclusive interview with Vincent Truitt's mother and grandmother, they told me they want full transparency and accountability. Nothing is going to bring Vincent back. But this family is going to continue until we get justice. On Thursday, the release of the video came after Cobb County District Attorney Flynn Brody said a grand jury recommended no further action. The video begins with officers chasing after a stolen Altima. It ends behind a warehouse. From here, everything happens quickly. We chose to freeze the video when Officer Max Carniol fired two shots. Prosecutors showed us one still picture of what they say is a gun in Truett's hand. Family attorney Gerald Griggs wants to know why the DA chose not to present charges to the grand jury. Our concern is the way he handled this case. And hopefully elected officials are watching this around the state and will revise the process of handling these police involved shootings. For context, I asked legal analyst Esther Panich to weigh in. So if they're not going to give the guidance to the grand jury, if they're not going to tell them what crimes are on the table to be considered, and what evidence may or may not support that, they're essentially saying, do not indict this person. I did ask the district attorney's office today why it did not present charges. Late this afternoon, a spokeswoman said, we chose to use that procedure so that there is a clear, transparent record of the evidence that was presented to the grand jury. We'll stay on this. Reporting live in Cobb County, Marietta, Chris Jose, Channel 2 Action News.